Hi, Kyle Grossmiller from Pure Storage here. And in this second part of the Azure VMware solution and Cloud Block Store, we're going to show you how to deploy a Cloud Block Store within Azure. Um, standard disclaimer, um, when this was filmed, uh, Cloud Block Store is still in development. Um, so there are some things that may change here. Um, and the first step, uh, you could certainly have a larger address space in this, but just to illustrate how to do this, um, we're going to add an additional address space uh, within our Azure resource group. And then we're going to go ahead and add a subnet uh, specifically for replication of Cloud Block Store. Um, so you can see we're just giving it that descriptive name here. Um, the other subnet uh, was previously created in start part one of this demo video. Um, all right, so with that uh, replication network set up, um, we'll then search the marketplace for Cloud Block Store. And we can see it's preview here. By the time you've seen this demo video, chances are it will be available in production. Um, so we're just going to do a release candidate here. Again, th there should be a production version of this available. Um, we'll select our region, East US, which is the same as our Azure VMware solution. Uh, we'll use a V10 um, Cloud Block Store model. Um, we'll give it an array name, a uh, company domain name. I'm going to cover up my license key here, obviously. Um, and then in terms of application name, we'll just name it VMware Cloud Block Store. Um, for our system interface, we'll use uh, our VMware US East subnet uh, management interface. We're actually going to use replication network because this replication network is uh, exposed to our on-premises uh, network that we're going to be replicating into Azure uh, Cloud Block Store. Um, iSCSI interface, we're going to use uh, US West VNet um, because that will talk to our Azure VMware solution. Um, and then we basically click uh, OK and proceed. And then that will kick off our deployment. Um, super simple and straightforward, as you can see here. It's just a matter of mapping the correct network interface to the correct network uh, that will go to Azure VMware solution versus on-premises. Um, I skipped ahead a little bit here. Uh, the deployment does take typically about 10 to 15 minutes or so. But as we can see, um, all of our management endpoints and replication endpoints are on the correct and appropriate subnets. Um, if we bring up our previously deployed AVS instance there, here we can see that uh, Cloud Block Store has been deployed. And other than the GUI, uh, which shows the various components on the right there, uh, this is very familiar to pure storage users. Um, please come back for part three, where we'll show how to set up NSXT and connect AVS and Cloud Block Store together. Thank you for watching.